we've talked a lot about Michigan when it comes to politics this year. For our yeah, obvious reasons. Boy, we really have. Yeah, Michigan has been uh, a, a central talking point for several months now. And this one that we're about to mention is a really, really bad one. Um, the, a sheriff's deputy in Oakland County, which is uh, just outside Detroit, I think it's, um, yeah, it's between Detroit and Flint, but um, a sheriff's deputy there has been fired over this photo. So um, you may look at it initially and just go, oh, it's a Halloween themed photo. What's the big deal? Well, it's supposed to represent the pumpkins are for Trump, Biden, and Pence, and the watermelon one is Vice President-elect Kamala Harris. That gets you fired right there. Yep, that'll do it. So uh, Sherry Prose is the uh, part-time deputy. has been a longtime part-time deputy in Oakland County, but once uh, they discovered that photo, she was immediately fired. <laughs> I, can you, can you explain? Can you just explain this to me? I don't get the psychology of this because at this point, all these cops have got to know you do stuff like this, and it, you're just going to get fired. But and here's yet, the point. And yet it keeps when, because they feel like the environment is okay for them to do this. That I, I, I know, funny. but you see, but you keep saying the, the point. The environment that's been created in the country is that people who think that this is funny used to go, oh, I better not put that out there because it'll blow up my face. And now they go, eh, everybody will think it's funny. No, I think you're right, Charles. I think you're right. They feel emboldened in this environment, but to the sheriff's, the sheriff's office credit, they jumped all over this and said it was disgusting, said it'll never be tolerated. They're trying to paint this Sherry prose as, as a bad apple, but I, I think you're right. This confirms a lot of people's suspicions when they read stories like this, that there are more Sherry proses out there who just don't post the picture, but actually have these feelings. So or get away really, with it. Yeah, now what's really weird is what Sherry prose's response to this was. Uh, she says that now she's been in law enforcement since 1994 and says, uh, I worked hard in my career. I am proud of the reputation I earned in my 30 plus years of service. I am not racist and never will be. Okay, how do you explain, how do you explain taking a watermelon, doing that, saying that it's Kamala Harris? Charles, help me out here, just to be fair to her. Mm -hmm. How do we know that that represents her according to this cop? Well, the post, and, and again, we should say this is something that she posted. We don't know that she actually made the watermelon jack-o'-lantern. I guess what I'm asking is, how do we know that that is that supposed that to be? That one is Kamala, uh, yeah. because there are, she has Trump, Biden, Pence. There are three, I guess we're just doing left to right. Oh, okay, I get it, I get it. You know what I mean, like. I, yeah, I, it, it just, I, again, right. I'm being, I, I guess I'm naive. the actual photo. So she can say she's not racist, okay, but. We all know wh what the watermelon represents. Um, you know, historically, it is a, connect a connection. The NAACP said that it is linked to buffoonery uh, and to black people being seen as less than. Um, so for her to say it's not racist, fine. You can say whatever you want, but. I, I just, I, I'm, I apologize. I, I'm being incredibly naive. But even if people in the department of officials are like-minded, they can't withstand the public scrutiny of this. So the cops have got to know they're going to get fired from this, even if the up, even if the people above them don't have a problem with it. They're going to still fire them because they're protecting they their own assets. Right. All right. I, I, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. Hi, I'm Raquel Jones from Houston, Texas, and I wanted to comment on the Kamala Harris story. So this part-time deputy who obviously has too much time on his hands should be ashamed of himself for degrading our first African-American vice president by carving her face or, quote, unquote, trying to carve her face into a pumpkin. She, no, not even a pumpkin, a watermelon at that. So she, de he deserves exactly what he's getting. He needs to get booed on out of there and move the vice president on in. Well, you got the wrong pronoun there. Uh, it's yes. actually a woman, but it doesn't matter whether it's a man or a woman. It's irrelevant. Yeah.